Mr. Arena. We played it on Mixless in the Tezzeret deck we played yesterday. It was it was sweet. Man, Ratchet Bomb. It's a good thing we boarded in them Stony Silences. Man, how nuts would Stony be as a draw this turn? It's a good thing we have another draw for it. Come on. Come on. Daddy needs a Stony Silence. Be quiet, robots. Put your charger. Sure, man. You got it. Draw a card. Oh, we're so unlucky. We're so unlucky. Um, we have a course in our deck, so I don't just want to burn this fetch land willy-nilly. So I'm going to go ahead and... I'm going to play this Temple Garden out and ship the turn. Um, I wouldn't be surprised to see him Ratchet Bomb on two. What we're going to do is we're going to Resto during our turn next turn. So we can... Um, Lane's a good draw. So we can blink this. And then we can path one of our two walls in response to Ratchet Bomb to keep our lands up since we have a bunch of paths. So. Oh. No, Declan, it's so upsetting. So we're doing this now because he's going to tick Ratchet Bomb up and then he could blow it for two in response. I want to just make sure I can trip this Restoration Angel. Is he going to kill? He's killing my Wall of Omens? Snap call. Deal. You have... It's dead. It's deader, deader than dead. Uh, play Rajing Ravine. Pass the turn. So if he just, like, does nothing again next turn, I'm going to... Uh, fetch a red source and like ship with Raging Ravine and Resto here. Our reality could also get smashed here if he draws a double land. Maybe this card's going all the way up to four. I could see that being a thing. Another relic. Man, he's drawn as many relics as lands. His deck is so good. Painter Servant. Um, we don't want to play that yet. Because he's probably going to push this higher than two. So I'm just going to do what I said I was going to do. And that's uh, get a red source here. And ship for eight. Or seven. Sorry. Uh, yeah, I don't need another white source. One in doubt, get more green lands. And this could get like dismembered or go for the throated. But I think that's fine. Looks like he's F6. Or am I just... No, he's not F6, sorry. So this is probably going to die. Ace pain costs. Path. Snap call. Sure. So I assume this is going all the way up. So trade a land for a spell. He's got another one. Okay. Sure. So now we just, like, really want to draw a Court of Calling. Like, so badly. We want to draw a Court so bad. He ticks, hopefully he ticks this up here, so I can play Painter Servant next turn. Doesn't tick up Ratchet, I'm sure. Hey man. Relic be gone. Painter Servant is there to counter Eye of Ugin activation, so you can cord for it in response to Eye of Ugin. It's like to help you stay in the game once you survive the initial onslaught, basically. Man, what a skill game we play. So we can end step Resto on tap Kiki. Deal. Sold. Yeah, man, you got me. He could have removal spell. He's like already played Path Path Gopher, but like he's also holding a bunch of cards in his hand. Like I guess the question is like how how aggro do I want to be here with jamming the combo? We unfortunately are one short of courting for no wait yeah we're one short of courting for witness and then restoing witness. Part of me just wants to go to Value Town with this cord. Yeah, I'm just gonna go to Value Town. I feel like I feel like I'm gonna be hard pressed to lose this game just taking taking a walk to Value Town. Won't you take me to 
Value Town, won't you take me to Value Town? Pom 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 pom. Pom 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 pom. Good job blowing all those relics, you big dumb idiot. What an embarrassment of riches lay before me. What? What an embarrassment of riches. Do 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 be do 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 be do 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 be do 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 do. So what we're gonna do here is he's pretty unlikely to have a sweeper in his deck. So we're gonna cord for two here and get spell skite, and then we're going to resto the eternal witness now. Because I don't want him to be able to, um, I don't want him to be able to crack the ratchet bomb in response while it's at three. Won't you take me to Value Town? Won't you take me to Value Town? Bum, 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 bum. Bing, 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 bing. We can actually cord for two here during his end step because this can make mana again, so we can go one, two, three, four, five. Won't you take us to Value Town? If we get damnation here, that'll be sad. Thought not seer. No! We're so unlucky! If only we had two cord of callings! <laughs> get wrecked, nerd. And we're going to cord during our upkeep here because we don't actually have triple green on the table. So that would be, it would be bad if we, or triple red, it would be bad if we drew the Kiki. So he needs double slaughter pact and then he can't pay for the double slaughter pact. So. Oh, it doesn't even make me show him the Kiki Jiki. We wouldn't have drawn it, but that's sweet. Good, good to know that we played around it. All right, I'm going to run a quick commercial and uh, change the diaper here real quick. Thanks for hanging out here this afternoon, folks. We're going to play at least another three matches, maybe a little more than that with Cord. Thanks for hanging out. I'd just like to take a minute and say thank you to all the subs we have here on the channel. You guys are the reason I can keep doing what I do. It's the best way to support the stream is sending a sub. Supports me, supports Twitch, keeps the network online. So really appreciate that, guys. Growing with the little, little birds of paradise next to their name. You guys are great. May your birds of paradise never die in turn one. Oh, buddy. There you go. Let's pull that out. There you go. <laughs> All right. I'll draw the count one. I'll draw us one. I'll draw the zero. Got him. 
Opponent drew like garbage, but you know, we got him. Still counts, right? Scoreboard? Is that what the kids say? Scoreboard? Uh, yeah, saying it's keepable. I think we're going to lead on Foothills because, uh, Foothills for Sacred Foundry. We know we, this needs to get white, and we need red for Kiki. I appreciate the follows. I know everyone can't afford to sub. The follows also help the channel keep going. I'm sure you answered this hundred times. What's the deal with me and SCG right now? Uh, I don't have a writing contract with, um, anyone. I write for a few different sites right now, uh, Turn two voice is going to be really good, probably, against uh, Hollowed Fountain Deck. Um, I don't have a writing a contract with anyone right now that's exclusive. Uh, like, when I have a, an article that I think is going to be really popular, sometimes I'll offer it to SCG because they're, they're capable of paying more money per article than a lot of the smaller sites are. So, I also write for Card Market uh, at least once or twice a month. Um, so the best way to to find my content personally consistently is um, well that's really good he's gonna get a voice token so opponent's playing fish or maybe he's playing like old school sun titan type deck that would be hot I haven't seen that in a while I'm gonna play another voice here money. Yeah, so I mean, I do the magic stuff because I like it, but when magic also pays the bills, my wife lets me do more of it. This could be fish, or it could be like some kind of blue-white control deck that's trying out Phantasmal Image with Sun Titan. Like, that was a thing in Standard. It was, it was a sweet thing. I played the, sh the crap out of Solar Flare. I don't want to trade here. Two voice versus one voice. My voice is louder. Yeah, it could be American Control. American Control doesn't usually have Island in it. Maybe he's got, like, this is, like, his one basic island. Okay, so it is a Maria control. All right. Sweet. Teach their own. No blocks. You're not wrong. Pathing his voice is, in fact, a legal play. What do I want to do with this Court of Calling is, is the question... Um, I can get two drop right now. Man, I almost just want to get another voice of resurgence. Is that crazy? I could also get wall of omens and like start hitting lance. Yeah, I'm actually gonna cord for a wall of omens here. I would like to hit a land drop. I don't want to just get wall of roots because um he could, he could just Wrath us, and then we'll feel bad about that. But, like, right now, Wrath isn't really a problem. All right, of course, sir. Like, every one of these cards, like, these will leave behind tokens and this drew a card. So, like, if he Wraths us, like, we come out ahead, basically. Solar Flare was a, a deck name, not a, uh, not a card name. Solar Flare refers to a uh, control deck that uses its graveyard for value. Uh, when I played... Solar Flare it was during uh, Innistrad Scars Standard. How often do you win on Fulminator Kiki? They could play Detention Sphere. Uh, yeah, Detention Sphere, I guess, is a great reason to not get a third voice there and definitely get the Wall of Omens. Yeah, man. You get to see all my cards. Is he targeting me? Which I'm targeting Jeff Hogan. Deal. Snap Call. Take any of my cards away. God, he has to take the Pontiff, right? Like, this, this card's real? Like, I... I feel like he ships nothing or Pontiff. Like this, this is not going to end well for him. We've got two paths to deal with a follow-up Sun Titan. Come on. All these cards suck for you. He should, I, I think he should probably just take nothing because I would really like to make some land drops. But, you know, teach their own. 
So there's a lot of players that don't understand that the best Vendillion clicks they can cast are the ones where they can just, like, not take anything. 